Taking a look at the interest rate environment today, I want to move out on the curve again today to the 10 year. Let's focus on the 10 year today. We saw some further volatility. We look at the 10 year settling right around the 124, 115 level. We saw a high of 124.25, a low of 124.115. So again, quite a range uh, in the 10 year today and we saw persistent volatility. It's been very volatile throughout the week. We see volatility in the equity markets. It's spilling over into other asset classes. And when you look at the bond complex and the note complex, certainly today seeing a big move initially in the 10 year when we saw it pop up to that 124 25 level however we did see the equity markets uh, reverse course throughout the day uh, and then we saw the bond market do the same so we saw again the bonds settling back to basically unchanged now we're seeing the equity markets give up some ground late in the day today and we're seeing the bond market rally slightly but still um, certainly when you look at the trend in place there appears to be an uptrend in the 10 year and that trend has been very persistent now really going back from may 3rd was when the lows were put in place and with the equity weakness of the markets uh, incur and encountered excuse me as well as some of the other dynamics within the marketplace uh, when you see some of the global issues that the market's contending with you're seeing a bid for uh, the notes and the bond market in general so we continue to see a strong bid here and we're from a short-term perspective that uptrend is firmly in place as we push back up the challenge really the highs of the year which come in at 124.31 also the yield curve, I wanna to speak to that today. We see that moving around quite a bit here in the last couple of weeks. And when you look at the three month uh, tenure, we did see it actually go uh, into a positive territory the last couple of days. We've seen now that tenure uh, outpacing the, the three months. So putting it, uh, getting it out of that inverted situation, but it's very close. So I think when you look at this moving forward, something to pay close attention to, seems like the fulcrum is right around the two spot three nine level. And so we saw the tenure push up to the two spot four zero the three month right around the two spot three eight level so again a little bit of premium there a little bit of uh contangle but when you look at the middle of the curve really you're still seeing inversion there and i think that's another key factor here as we look at the yield curve as a as a whole that 10 year seems to be the fulcrum point here where we're seeing the middle of the curve still at an inverted state